Good afternoon. Is it? Mm-hmm. Well, why didn't you wake me? Uh, well, better yet, the question is, why aren't we still in bed? Well, I'm not in bed because my dear, wonderful Aunt Alex called an emergency family meeting. What? Mm-hmm. Honey, we're still on our honeymoon. Doesn't mm. she have any respect for tradition? Yeah, when it suits her purposes. It doesn't suit my purposes at all. I'd like to show you that as soon as I get this tie off. Honey, honey. Honey. Stop, I can't. Okay, we can keep the silly tie on, but the rest of it absolutely you has to come off. There's a fundamental concept here that you're missing. You see, I if I don't go, I don't get a paycheck. And if I don't get a paycheck, then I can't keep you in the style to which I assume you would like to become a customer. You can't keep me? Right. What is this, a 50 sitcom? Yeah. Oh, honey. Mm -hmm. A new toaster? <laughs> you shouldn't have. And you're bringing the boss home? I sure hope I don't burn the roast. You know what? You're crazy. I am crazy. I keep trying to tell you that. I'm crazy about you, and I would just love to show you how much, sweetie. Honey. Honey, I don't know what you've been taking, but I can't. I have to go. <gasps> to a big, important meeting. Mm -hmm. I know. But you have one of those right here, right now. I'd love to show you how to take a meeting. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> hey, I mean it. That's enough. <laughs> Stop. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey, Frank. But you did notice that I backed off from what happened the other night. No, I haven't. What night was that? Oh, come on, Michelle. What happened at the beach when I caught you with Danny? I just didn't want to push you into telling me anything until you were ready. Telling you what? I don't know what oh, you're getting on, Michelle, tell me the truth. Hey, that's all I'm getting at. I already told you the truth. <laughs> Look, I know what you told me, all right? But I didn't buy it. That you and Danny, what? Just went to the beach and took a casual stroll. You know what? I'm getting really tired of talking about Danny's hair. And I know when you're holding back from me, Michelle. I'm not. I know when you're getting scared, too. Okay, I know you, remember? Look, I love you, Michelle, but you have to tell me what actually happened on the beach that night. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Um, I did lie to you. Because of that lie, you're in more danger than you can imagine. Oh, Frankie, thanks for coming by. Hey, Dad, what's up? I got something important to talk to you about. I wonder if it's Jeffrey Morgan being on the oh. page of the Springfield Journal. Did that have something to do with it? What does it have to say? Nothing much. It's, uh, there's more garbage about a sentence being overturned. Can you believe they let this scum walk the streets? It's unbelievable. Yeah, well, I see it every single day. Murderers getting off on technicalities it makes me sick. But the good news is, is I talked to a buddy of mine who works at the prison, and he said that he talked to Jeffrey Morgan's cellmate, and he said that Jeffrey's on his way to Europe. They said no intention of coming back. Oh, thank God. Oh. I know. Well, I tell you, it's not going to change my plans, but I'm going to be a little easier. Jenna being safe around Springfield, anyway. Plan? What plan? <sighs> Brace yourself. Me, Jenna, the kids, we're leaving, Frank. It's our time. Finally gonna be our time. Holly, you came back again? I couldn't stop thinking about it. About what? The magazine. Oh, you left it? There's something in there. <laughs> there is? Well, I was going to order something for Blake for Christmas. Oh, oh, fine. I'll get it for you, then. This is it. I thought it was little. Oh, father. Oh, my goodness. What's this? Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and didn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Oh, my God. This is from the stalker. Holly, would you look at this? Look. This magazine, you... You had this in your hand earlier, didn't you? And this was in the magazine. Did you... Did you find that outside, or was it in here? This is... This is your magazine. You've come back to get your magazine. Oh, my God! You're the stalker? You did it? 
did all those things? Jenna, what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm one of the victims, don't you remember? It's your magazine, and this note was in your magazine. Well, I don't know how it got in there. I mean, maybe they're coming after me now. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh. Oh. Oh, Holly, I'm so sorry. Oh. I of course I shouldn't jump to conclusions like this. I'm... Please forgive me. I seem to be doing that an awful lot these days, jumping from... I I'm, I'm very unnerved with Jeffrey being let out of prison and, and it's got Buzz and I bent out of shape. Well, I can understand that. You must be very upset. I mean, why did they let him out of jail? Oh, I don't know. But this, this is not his style, you see. I, I think I should call the police on this. Well, you could do that, but perhaps you ought to wait and talk it over with Buzz first. But why would I want to talk this over with the bus when it concerns me and the children? Holly, as you know, there is an absolute madman out there. I mean, he's a lunatic. He gets off on these things, scaring people, scaring children. It's, they should lock him up in a rubber room and throw away the key. You don't understand her at all. As big a pain in the butt as you are, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Been a few rounds, haven't we? But we're still standing. Yeah, we're still standing, Pop. God, kid, I'm proud of you. Prouder than I can ever say. You, know, you built a great life for yourself here. You and Elaine, but I mean, <laughs> what you already have, I've spent a lifetime trying to find. Yeah, but now you're saying that you guys are going to be, you know, yeah. cruising and, and easy sailing, Jen right? Jen and I are lucky. I just hope the luck holds up so that, you know, our two little guys turn out to be as well as you and your sisters. Mickey's dead because of me and Drew. Except Danny believes that you did it. Me? Yes, he, th he thinks you were jealous of Mick or... Oh, whatever, just because he was always, he was always around looking me up and down, waiting for a chance to hit on me. I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm so sorry. How you doing? Well, I, I'd do better with a cup of hot coffee. You got it. Thanks. You put anything back. Here you go. Can I get you something with that? Bagel, Danish? Maybe later. I've seen you somewhere. Uh-huh. Yeah, around. Uh, parties, functions. Uh-huh. I've never been to a function in my entire life. Uh, still, I've seen you around here or there. But, uh... But uh, what's a girl like me doing in a place like this? It's no. actually a second career for me. No. Kind of like you, Mr. Warren. No, I hear tell you gave up a big-time career to come back here and do what? Give your big brother Ross Mahler a kick in the pants. Um, this is all of uh, Ross's mother's stuff. Uh, oh. Ross and Ben's mother. Mayday, it's so tragic. Ben's life was just so difficult. He, he was never really brought up at all. He, he never felt loved. His, his birth mother gave him up for adoption, and, and after that, it, he just had a hard life. So you're trying to find out about the birth mother and maybe find something that will help. Yeah, I guess I am. But it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Can it help you look? I thought you came by to see the boys. Oh, they're happy playing with their palace. Besides, I'd love to help you find your needle. Oh, well, Maida, that would be wonderful. You're the best. Come on, let's go look.
I got a message for you, Marler. Nobody cares. Nobody cares if it's here, or if it's there, or if it's here, or if it explodes. This will work. I can make it work. Get it, before I lose the lot. There's another one. Got it. Oh, you're a good man, counselor. Nice to see you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you did move out, didn't you? You wound me. Yes, I live at the Spalding Mansion now. I just thought I'd surprise you. What do you mean? I went shopping, Ross, for you. This is for me? You, you seem to lack some necessity, chez vous. Foie gras, white truffles, black truffles, carpaccio, figs, stuffed with mascarpone. Okay, the figs were my one frivolous purchase. The rest of it is basic pantry. One should consider them household staples. Oh, of course. You're not on some kind of diet, are you? No, of course not. Actually, this looks and smells wonderful. Would you get that? Unload. Mr. Seymour. Well, this must be my lucky day. I thought I'd have to ask Mr. Marler for your new address. It, uh, well, is there a problem? Yes. Your security check bounced. You promised me it wouldn't. I don't even live here anymore. You should give me the money back. It was a non-refundable deposit. I want the money. Unless you want me to add it on to Mr. Marler's rent bill for next there month. There is no need to do that. India, could you... Oh, Mr. Seymour, can I help you with something? No, no, it, it has something to do with me. Mr. Seymour owes me a little money. Uh, Ross, uh, I forgot. There's one more bag in my car. It's got sorbet in it. Would you be a doll and go get it while I iron things out with Mr. Seymour? Yes, of course. Can't live without sorbet. <laughs> I uh, guess you don't want Mr. Marler to know. There is nothing for him to know. Let's not play games. Your finances are in the toilet. How indelicately put, and how altogether incorrect. If my check bounced, it is simply a bank error, which I will have taken care of. I will call them first thing in the morning and give them a piece of my mind. Spare me the bogus outrage. I've been through this dozens of times with deadbeats like you. I beg your pardon, deadbeat? I checked out all your references, ran a financial check, and you are flat broke. Flat. See, now, honey, see? what you're doing there, that just kind of defeats the purpose. No, see, you, uh, my purpose is to get the work. I work schmirk. Work schmirk? It's the best you can come up with? No, I could come up with something a lot better mm -hmm. if you'd let me show oh, you. <laughs> okay, now that's it. Stop. Look, I would love to get back into bed with you, and I would like to stay there all day. I'd like to stay there all week for... That's cute. <laughs> Don't you wait till I get home. I won't be gone that long. I have to do this. There are certain practicalities of life that have to be dealt with. But why? Because there are. This isn't just about us. It's other people are involved here. You know what I'm dealing with at work right now? Got my Aunt Alex pulling one way. I got my father pulling another. If I'm not there, God only knows what direction this company's going to get taken off into. I'm only half kidding, you know. <sighs> there are people could get laid off. You wouldn't job. be trying to make me feel guilty now, would you? Honey, would I make you feel guilty about what? About wanting to take you. Take me? Right here in our living room and then in our den and our library. <laughs> Do we have a library? No, but we have boxes of books. If you want to make love in the library, it'll take me a second to unpack. Honey, you know what? I don't have a second. I have to go. I love you more than I can tell you, but I really do. All right? Don't give me a hard time. You know how Alex is when she gets in business mode. Fine. Fine. If you really are going to be saving people's jobs, if you're going to be a hero, I can certainly be the self-sacrificing heroine. Don't you... Don't you have work to do? I know David's been running the office for you while you were gone, but isn't he swamped? Yes, he is swamped. I have tons of work, absolutely tons of work. Well, but I am willing to make that sacrifice to keep our home fires burning. So you think about that when you're in your big, important meeting. You think about things like home fires burning and bubble baths and baby oil massages. And you should really think about... Philip, what are you?
you doing? What about Aunt Alex? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, I'm not mad at you, okay? It's just, I mean, you can't keep some things from me, all right? Especially about all this. I know, about Mick and we got Danny Santos roaming around everywhere after us. What? Why does he keep following me? Look, I'll take care of it. No, you know what? The only the first person that's gonna come after is you. Not if I go after him first. Wait, wait. You're not leaving because of Jeffrey Morgan, are you? Nope. See, this is the part where the son asks the father again for the truth, and then you say... Oh, Frank. I... I just been having this... feeling nagging me that something bad is about to happen. It's been day in, day out. And then when I made this decision to move, it was like the weight of the world was lifted off my shoulders. And it was Jenna's, too. I mean, she's had the same feeling that something bad is about to happen. It's so easy to condemn her. And I can just hear all the good citizens of Springfield. Everyone's so frightened. But does, does anyone really get the point? Does anyone really understand what it's all about? Do you hear what I'm saying? Absolutely, yes, I do. Well, what is the point, Jenna? What is the point? I'm not sure. Well, it's, it's not those women? Those women who get warnings? Who get these innocuous little notes? It's not them? No, no. Well, what, what's it about, then? What is it about? It's about the children. It's about all the innocent, defenseless children who need so much. And when women have children, they have to be ready to give them everything. And if they can't do it, then somebody has to step in and take action. Holly, you're right. I, you're right. I just never saw that. Before. Well, you should have seen it. You should have seen it coming from a long way off because it was there and it was obvious. Yes, I clearly had too much going on. Yes, and so someone had to teach you the lesson that all mothers need to learn, and that is that the children come first. Yes. Oh, yes, they do. Yes. And so many women, they have their priorities all twisted around. It's job and career and husband and lover, and it all gets put before the children. But then something can happen, you know. And they can lose, they can lose. They can lose the children. Yes, I know. It shouldn't be allowed. You're right. Someone has to do something. You're right. You really are. You have a good handle on this. I would love to talk to you further about this and, and really hear your ideas on this because I think they're very good. But I just... I just remember that I have to call Buzz and make some arrangements. If you don't mind, I'll just call him right now. I just have to call and make some arrangements. That's, that's all I have to do. I do mind, Jenna. I mind very much. Continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Here, take this. It's worth a great deal more than your security deposit. But you will mention nothing to Mr. Marler. India, there's no bag. What? There's no other bag. We're going to have to dine without sorbet. Did you get everything resolved? Is everything all right? Yes. Everything's fine. You all right? Yes, yes. You look a little rattled. Hunger pangs. I am starving. Do you want to eat? Actually, I'm not all that hungry. But, Ross, I bought all this food. All right, I'll eat. <laughs> so what is uh, happening with, with Dory? You haven't even mentioned her since you've been back. She's a brilliant student. She's a champion skier. She's very popular amongst the rest of the girls. I'm not even bragging yet. <laughs> you light up when you talk about her. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. 
Well, she is a lucky young woman to be treated in such grand style. What better way to spend my fortune? <laughs> Shall we? Hmm. Oh. What is this? What? It's a music box. Oh, that does take me back. Yeah. When I was a girl, those were very popular. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe Ben would like this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? If that's anything like the one I had, there might be a secret compartment. A secret compartment? A little drawer, a door someplace on the Where side underneath. <gasps> oh! oh. Whose letters are those? Uh, these are from Ben's mother. <sighs> to, to her unborn son. Oh, oh. What, dear? Oh, this changes everything. I wish I knew what to do. You think about it and take your time. I'll go pick up the boys and take them for some ice cream. I'll bring them back in an hour, about an hour. That give you enough time? Yeah, that would that would be perfect, Mita. Thank you. Jesse, don't do this, please. Don't do what? Just leave Danny alone. Well, all I want to do is talk to him, Michelle. No. This is exactly what he wants, don't you see? Don't I see what? He's waiting for you. He's expecting you to come over Look, there and go after him. I can handle this, okay? Trust me, okay? Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, I was hoping you'd start off by shaking my hand. Look, man, we got off on the wrong foot and... Thought maybe you could start over. Hoping maybe you could feel the same way about it. Oh, you're smiling. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not mad? Why would I be mad? But I made you late for work. For being such a wanton woman. Baby, just as long as I'm the only man you want. Yep, that's what you got to look forward to. <laughs> Doing all my own material. Look out, David Letterman. No, I don't think David Letterman has anything to worry about, honey. But if you should lose your day job, we're going to start to death. Yeah, my day job, which is rapidly turning into a late afternoon job. I know, and it's all my fault. That's right. It's your fault. It's all your fault. But you know what? It doesn't matter because they can't start the family powwow until I get there. I have a surprise for you. You do? I'm going to make you a gourmet dinner tonight. Gourmet? Yes. Huh? Well, I don't know if it'll actually be four star, but it'll be better than diner chili. Honey, you don't have to do that. I love your dad's chili. Yeah. Almost as much as I love his little girl. I'm seeing candlelight. Flowers. Music. Perhaps a nice wine. Look, I'm serious about starting out. You're serious. Look, Danny, you, you probably think I'm handing you a line, but you know what? What would I gain from that? You live. <laughs> Look, Michelle told me that you think that I killed your brother, but that's why I'm here. So I can set things straight, because I had nothing to do with your brother dying. Okay? I'm just saying right now, I'm sorry it got off on a, on a personal basis here. You're sorry. Look, Danny, if it was my brother, I'd, I'd go after the killers with everything I had. So I kind of know how you feel. You do? But whatever, man, I don't know how you feel. Okay, I just know you're probably hurt out of this whole thing. So what do we do now, Jesse, huh? We all become good friends? Look, Danny, I'm apologizing you. 
I'm offering you to get your job back. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, saying that maybe you're an all right guy. And if I'm wrong, hey, sue me, man. We all make mistakes, right? Well, Jesse, I, you know, I didn't figure you for being smart enough to pull this nice guy routine with me. You know that Michelle? She's a real class act. Hmm. She ain't no act. She's a pretty amazing woman. Yeah, she is. So I guess you got something going on for you. Look, listen, you got a problem. You come to me, okay? You deal with me when you got a problem with me. You got it? You want me to take over this place? Yep. You want me to the... run the diner? You be the boss, lady. And you're just gonna leave? The seven seas await. So, Selena, what do you think? Hmm? Hmm? I mean, I've, I've got so many mixed emotions. I, you and Jen have been wonderful to me, and I love you guys. And I, the extra cash would help me to find my daughter, so... Yeah. Yeah! All right, <laughs> slam dunk! Thank you. <laughs> then you'll find your daughter. Yeah! Double slam dunk! <laughs> and, Melania, I, uh, we'll uh, smooth a little of the rough edges for you, so okay. make it really easy. I want to... This is okay, so exciting! Get out of here. I got to call my first mate. <laughs> well, then, she's not my first mate, you know, not nautically speaking. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop gabbing, Petula. Your captain is calling. You just wanted to call Buzz to get him to protect you from me. No, no, I just wanted him to run a couple of errands for me on the way home. Oh, don't lie to me, Jenna. I'm not. Do you think I'm stupid? No. You think I don't see that you know the truth? The truth? I've told you too much, Jenna. You know too much. Holly. If you think I don't understand, I, I do. What is it you think you understand? Well, I've listened to your arguments about this, and I have seen your pain, but... But what? what? Uh, nothing. I... Don't pretend you don't know what I've been doing. No, 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 no. I'm not pretending at all. What I'm trying to say to you is that I think that... I think perhaps maybe you need some help. Now, no one has been seriously hurt yet. Not really. Which means that nothing bad is going to happen to you. You don't know what's going to happen to me. Now, the one thing I do know is that we all have demons inside us, and we have to face them head on, and that's, that's what you have to do, Holly. Demons. That's right. And your demons seem to have manifested in a way through motherhood. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I, I realize that I have done, well, some dreadfully wrong things where my children are concerned. But that would make me no different from any other mother in the entire universe. You see, unfortunately, it comes with the territory. But the flip side of the coin is that we learn from our mistakes. you do and I can't begin to imagine fathom how much it hurts to not know where your child is that's what this is about isn't it it's all about that isn't it yes I don't I can't stand myself I can't look at myself I hate what I'm doing. Oh, Holly, please, please let me help you. Let me call someone to come for you, and we'll stay with you. We won't desert you, I promise you.
God bless the golden geese of Strasbourg. Oh, my, the foie gras is sublime. Ross, you should have some. Well, uh, maybe later. I uh, didn't realize what time it is. Where are you going? I have to meet a client in about a half an hour. Oh, uh, I better go too then. No, uh, you, no need for you to rush. In fact, why don't you meet me for a drink later on? A nice little place opened up right near my office. It's a lovely idea, but I can't. I'll take a rain check. Other plans? Work. <laughs> Lots of it. You work? I mean, uh, what work, India? Darling, with a portfolio my size, it takes a great deal of hands-on management. I should have known. Well, would you be so kind as to lock up on your way out? Maybe. Okay. India, thank you. I appreciate all this. Mon plaisir. Operator, yes? Switzerland? 848227. Madame Lucier, bonjour. It's India von Holkheim. Y yes, yes, I know the financial office has been trying to reach me. That's why I'm calling. Uh, Monsieur Barnard, bonjour. Uh, oui, je sais. Uh, I will, I will have all of Dory's tuition. I, I promise, I, I just need a little bit more time to get the money together. No, 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 please, please don't throw her out. I, I will get it, I promise. You will have your money. You have my word. Merci beaucoup. Mm. Okay, boys, here we are. Climb up there. And I will go negotiate for some ice cream. Hello, Ben. Tomato. My favorite redhead. Oh, I'll settle for your second favorite. Are you still mad at me? No. Good. In fact, I think I'm going to give you some very valuable advice. Go pay Blake a visit. I'm not so sure that's a good idea, Mabel. I'm sure it is. Very sure. Trust me. busy today. Please, Ben, it can't wait. Blake? Please. I'll think about it. Go, Ben. As I said, trust me. So, I was saying... That before you held your hand to him, my heart was beating a mile a minute. <laughs> yeah, well, your heart wasn't the only one doing a number on you, Michelle. But you know what? You were so calm and cool, and I'm actually starting to think this might work out. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I'm very proud of you. Yeah, well, you know what? You better hold off on that, though, because then he's kind of unpredictable. Yeah. He's like a hard case. That's why I thought maybe we'd kill him with our kindness. <laughs> Let me get off your track and Drew's track and the track of the truth. Getting scared again. Look, it's gonna be all right. You just have to tell me every time that Danny makes a move on you. I will. All right, you let me deal with Danny Santa. Okay. I, I need a quarter of my parking meter. I'm oh. sorry. All right, all right. Going on quick. Here, calm down. Quarter. It's gonna cost you. Mm. Go away. Okay. <laughs> he won't come. 
come. I'll think about it and then forget it. Uh, but it was the right thing to do to ask him. It was the right thing to do. I'm sure that if, if Ross didn't hate Ben so much, he would have done the same thing. I'm sure of it. Beautiful day. I'm going to take a walk. I'm going to pick up my boys. You know what? I'm hungry. Why is it every time we make love, I get hungry? Oh, honey, good. You'll have plenty of good gourmet food tonight. Gourmet food. Gourmet, gourmet. Oh, boy. Yes. I'm doing it for your discerning palate. Because your palate is discerning as it gets. So you go off to work and you work hard at that meeting and you get a big, voracious appetite. Go ahead, have a nice day. Bye, honey. Bye. <laughs> Great. I have to call Dad. No, his food's too basic. Burgers, souvlaki. No, this calls for exotic food. Herbs and spices. Elaney, Elaney understands herbs and spices. I mean, I'm not a complete dud in the kitchen, but I'd like to make something he's not going to get food poisoning from. <gasps> Mr. Spaulding, did you forget your keys? Oh, yes? I waited till he left. I beg your pardon? That guy, the man. Oh, uh, well, you know what, hon? If you're if you're selling cookies, no, or candy, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, you should come back later when I go back from the bank. I'm not selling anything. Oh, well. Is Harley here? I'm Harley. That's me. <laughs> you're so young, so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Do I know you? Uh, I'm Susan. I'm your daughter. See you later. See you later, Michelle. Good seeing you. Tamarina is so hot. All right. Okay. Hey. Yes, just think. All this will be yours, including the grease trap. He's a bear, but, you know, you can always get some fool to wait in there for a few extra bucks. You're gonna have to give me a list. You're gonna have a blast running this place. I mean, the great people go in and out that door every day. You miss it already. No, I don't have time. I'm too busy charting a course to nowhere. No, to everywhere. It's gonna be... Life is good. I'm gonna get better. Whenever my idiot attorney files those papers for power of attorney and whatever else... <laughs> Excuse me. Wait a minute. Is this jerk the reason that you and Jen are taking off? No. It was for a while, but no more. Nobody can touch us now. Nobody. Please, Holly. Please, we'll get you the best help there is. I promise you, somebody who will help you put all this in the right perspective. What do you know, Jenna? What do you know? You had a baby, and you lied to Buzz. You tried to pass it off as Jeffrey Morgan's. And then you got pregnant again, this time with Jeffrey's baby. <laughs> now, now you try to tell us all he's a Cooper. <laughs> come in, come in, hello? <gasps> In person. Although it seems that someone should be calling me dad. This has been Guiding Light.
Tonight on the CBS Evening News, elderly convicts and their skyrocketing medical costs. Can you afford it? The story later.